Hi everybody, and welcome to the Getting Started with Instructbot tutorial video series. In this video, I'll be showing you what help commands are used for and how to create them. This is a help command I've already created in the configuration I use. It's used to show viewers the costs associated with all the active commands they can execute. They can run this help command by typing exclamation help in Twitch chat, which then causes Instructbot to output its help text. Note that help commands respond to the triggering viewer. So for example, if I was to turn a 50% discount for tier three subscribers, the cost shown would reflect that. The same principle applies to the commands listed. For example, if you have a command for moderators only, it will not be shown if a normal viewer triggers the help command. Switching to the tutorial configuration, I'm going to walk you through how to create a new help command. Press the add button. You should set the name and description to something appropriate for the command. In this case, I'm going to name it default help command and describe it as help command for all other commands. Always on controls if the command is considered active, even if not contained within a profile attached to the currently active application. As I'm going to be adding the command to my common profile, so I'm going to leave this disabled. Public controls if other users of Instructbot can download the command. If you want to share this command, toggle it on. All commands are included in the default help command unless they're specifically assigned to another help command. As I'm creating the default help command, I'm going to toggle this on. You would leave this off if creating a help command for a specific set of other commands. The cooldown controls how often the help command can be executed. The global cooldown applies to everyone, whereas the user cooldown is per viewer. For example, if you set the global cooldown to 5 and the user cooldown to 60, the command can be executed at most once every 5 seconds, but a single viewer will only be able to execute once every 60 seconds. At the bottom, the example output shows you what the help text will look like when sent to Twitch chat. Note, if no commands are currently linked to the help command, a warning will be shown, and a number of random commands will be used, so that an example of the help text can still be generated. A character count for the help text is shown. If this is more than 500 characters, the help text will be split over multiple messages to Twitch. The cheer, donation, free, points, and subscription toggle buttons control which triggers are shown in the help text. For example, if you didn't want to show cheer triggers, you can toggle them off. You can see that as I toggle cheers and donations on and off, the example output help text is changing to reflect this. As I only want to show cheer and donation triggers, I'm going to leave them on and toggle all others off. The introduction and conclusion control the text used at the beginning and end of the help text generated. I'm going to update the introduction to reflect that only cheers and donations are active. The command order controls the sequence in which the commands are output when generating the help text. You can order them by name, bits, or donation amounts. The command template is replicated per command when generating the help text. By default, it is set to show the command name, the trigger identifier, and then the list of triggers. The command trigger template controls the text output when a command has a trigger identifier, which can be typed into Twitch chat. For example, exclamation help. If the command has no trigger identifier, then nothing will be generated. The command separator controls the text place between each part of the text created by the command template. In this case, I'm using a double forward slash to separate the commands. To see this in action, I've changed the active application to City Skylines so that there are multiple commands. Please note that the text for each trigger is fixed and cannot currently be changed. The trigger separator controls the text place between each trigger shown. In this case, I'm using a pipe character to separate them. The command template and command trigger template can use a number of variables when generating their text. You can find a link in the description below to a list of them. I want this help command to be available in all my applications, so I'm going to link it to the common profile. I want everyone to be able to use this command, so I'm going to create a free trigger and assign an identifier of help, so that everyone can type exclamation help in Twitch chat to trigger the command. The only thing left to do is enable the help command so that it can be used, and then press apply to save the changes. This wraps up how to create a help command. If you'd like to learn more, please look at other tutorial videos in this series, visit our website, or join our Discord. Links to both the Discord and website are in the description below.